Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, Episode 60. I've been asked a couple times how I add a new site to my existing Vagrant box, and that's what we're going to go over today. So what I have here is my terminal application, and I use iTerm, but uh, when, or Mac comes with terminal. And all I've done is change directory into my Vagrant install. You can see if I list my files, this is the base of a Vagrant install. My first step is to go to the config. And here you can see I have all of my um, Nginx configuration files. And I need to create a new one for my new site. So I'm going to copy one. And this is going to be for a screencast WordPress install for this site. And then I'm going to edit it. The two things I need to do is edit line 28. And I need to go screencast.wptheme-tutorial.com. And I'm going to put it in the folder. WPTT screen. So now I need to go up a couple directories. And this is back to the base install. And I'm going to change into my database. And I'm going to update the init.custom.sql. And right down at the bottom, I'm just going to copy one. This is going to create a new database for us. And I want this to be SWPTT, which is screencast. I don't worry about any complex naming or security or anything like that because it's local. If you have access to this, you literally have my machine. So you've got it. And I'll close out of that. And then my last stop is to go up one more directory and back to the base and change directory into the www. I need to create the screencast folder. So if I list, I want to grab WordPress default is what I'm going to grab. Actually, no, I'm going to grab WordPress. Um, I'm actually going to grab one of my client ones. So I'm going to I'm grab capsule actually, cp dash dash recursive. So that means all the folders v. So it's going to show me everything. I'm going to copy capsule. I'm going to call it wptt screen. See, I can change directory into here. And look, and I actually want to remove the WP config file because I don't want that anymore. And I've already added screencast.wptheme.tutorial.com to my host uh, file. So that would be sudo vim slash private etc says hosts asks you for your password and you can see it's right there on line 33 screencast.wptheme-tutorial.com so now we type vagrant up this is going to run it's going to take a few minutes so i will uh, pause the screencast during this and when we come back we'll finish the wordpress install and we're back VUV or Vagrant has stopped booting up. It's finished, so I'm going to open up Chrome now. I'm going to go to screencast.wtheme-tutorial.com and I create my configuration file. And it was swptt. I'll copy that. Run the install. And this is. For local stuff, I just leave it as admin admin because that's what it is. And again, you'd have to actually have my site access to my whole laptop or my whole desktop to be able to get into this and know how to run Vagrant. So this is not necessarily a, a big security risk in my opinion. 
I'm not going to bother remembering it since I named them all exactly the same. So admin, admin. And there we go, we have WordPress installed. Obviously this was an older version, so I'd have to update WordPress now and configure any plugins I want. But that's how I add a new site to my existing Vagrant installs. Thanks for watching.